Shalom Ubaqa. So two things I wanted to tell you. One is that uh, I was walking in Manhattan and a person came to me and told me straight to the point. He told me, listen, I'm gay and I can't understand how you want me to keep the law mitzvah to be observant if in the end you're going to kill me with the court of Sanhedrin. So why should I keep the law mitzvah? So first of all I felt his sorrow and his pain and I realized that the person wants to be close to the Creator. He wants to serve Hashem but he's not able to because of that huge barrier. So I told him, listen, it's written that if the court of Sanhedrin would kill even once in 70 years, even once in 70 years, it's a lethal court. It's a court of murderers. And I'm not telling you that to be gay it's allowed. It's a known thing that it's a prohibition. But to tell you that you're going to be executed on that, there's no way. The truth is, that we know for sure that God is so kind and merciful and that the Torah is Torah of mercy and reveals the love of the Creator to His children and there is no way in the world that souls that are desiring and willing to find Hashem and to know the Creator will be rejected. It is true, it's not allowed, but we don't have the eyes and the mind and the hearts of the wise righteous ones that will sit in that holy court and judge our people. We must understand that Hashem and the Torah and the real righteous people are so much greater than what we understand and realize. That was the first thing I wanted to share with you. The second is that I heard one of the biggest rabbis, one of the biggest admorim of the last generation, he said that the tshuva, the awakeness of people of this generation to come back to Hashem, to the Creator, is an amazing thing, he said. And then he said, but I just don't understand why Hashem Barach chose the secular people to wake them up in Shuva, and He didn't chose the Haredim and all the Shroom religious people to bring them to the Shuva. Everyone needs to come back to Hashem. No matter where you are, no matter where you came from, no matter who you think you are, no matter where you think you came from, you need to come back to the truth. You need to come back to the Creator to serve Him with a smile on your face, with a happy heart and a wishing soul. I bless you to succeed. Join me. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.